Here's a quick video on how you can navigate to the individual animal records in the reports page on the web app to then start to dive in and understand what's going on within these reports. To view these, click on the reports tab on the left hand side of the screen here. And as you'll see, all of the individual animal records are the ones that are listed at the top of the screen here. And these are broken down into your life cycle records, which are including your birth, death, uh, pregnancy scan records, among others, and then your movement records for all of your on-farm or off-farm adjustments, and then your production records, which relate to your treatment and feed uh, re records and information that you're inputting in. If we dive into one of the life cycle reports, say death records here, very similar to most of the reports in terms of structure, you can see you've got your columns down here that list the relevant information, you've got your date of birth. Under the animals column, you can see which specific VID of that individual is attached to the record. If there are multiple individuals, you can see here where it says view to animals, you can click in on this and look at the specific animals that are related to that record itself. Again, you can scroll across and look at any other additional information such as the cause of death or the date of death. And if there are specific records here or columns here that aren't relevant to you, say for example, the tag numbers and the management tag, you can go into the customize columns option and this will allow you to adjust what will and will not be viewed within those columns within the report. So I can turn off my management tags and also my tag numbers here in this case, and you can see it's condensing this report down to just the columns that I wanna view within the report. Again, we have the group by function which allows you to group by potentially cause of death or by paddock. If you wanna see if there's any trends going on with the paddock location and death record. And the other thing to note on this page here is we've got the customizable date selection at the top of the screen. So this allows you to look at the deaths across a certain period of time, whether you wanna look at all records or just those that occurred this year or just this month, etc. You can also ad lib select the specific time frames that you wanna look at in this case from the 1st of July onwards and that will allow you to specify what you want to view if it's quarterly or annually and you want to see what, uh, what specific numbers are coming through in these reports. Simply clicking back out onto the reports tab takes you back to this screen here and then you can dive into some of the other reports, say such as your purchase records. Again, this will look very similar to the other reports in terms of the structure. You've got your customized column options, you've got your group by features as well. You'll see here for most of these records, again, by viewing the specific animals, you just click in on the, the view animals and it'll bring up all the specific animals that are related to that purchase record itself. Again, a lot of these have additional information at the top, such as um, combining some of the information present. Here you can see you've got your price per head uh, across those purchase records and then your total price for some of the purchase records as well. Last ones to look at here would be, say, your treatment records. I was looking very similar. These are down to an individual level. So if I want to adjust this back to, say, start of this year, you can see for each individual dosage used, you'll have a specific record here. So you can see the specific batch number that was used, the specific treatment, and the specific animal in this case. Um, as you can see, when there are a lot of records down the bottom here, these are grouped in 50 uh, line items per page. You can adjust this down here to show a greater number. And then this is where, say, for example, something like your grouping functionality might come into play, where you can group by, say, your batch number. So over here, I can see I've got the Cobalex with batch number 15210, and it's showing all of the treatments and the animals that we use there. Again, you've got your treatment dates, treatment costs, if they're applied as well. And you can start to turn some of these columns off, as we did before, if they're not relevant, such as your, say, reason for treatment or your organic end date, your withholding periods and things like that.